Hey guys, Prey 2 was announced at E3. One of my many E3 2016 predictions, well obviously not everything was right, but I will go through everything that was right and everything that was wrong and I think that I have a lot of things right. So obviously with predictions, even if one thing comes through, it's awesome. And uh, I got a couple of things, so I want to run you through them. Let me know what you think, of course, in the comments down below. Like the video if you did, and uh, let's see. So, Prey 2, of course, it's not going to be called Prey 2. It'll be called Prey at the Bethesda press conference. Looks totally different, um, and it's made by, like I already said in this video, Arcane Studios, RK, uh, from Texas. Um, that's like the separate studio, so one of them is working on Dishonored. And the other one is working on Prey. We did saw the trailer, you see a little bit right now, and it looks weird. It, it's not the things that we saw three years ago, and I'm pretty sad about that because that looked really cool. But yeah, that's not what this game is going to be. And we go up a little bit, we see the GTA 5 stuff, and uh, yeah, that was a good um, one. Um, um, yeah, it, it, it did not happen, uh, obviously. And that sucks. I still think it was going to be announced this year, but not at E3. This shows that Rockstar will just simply not be at E3. I did a totally different video. I already recorded it about the Rockstar E3 stuff. So you can look forward to that on the channel pretty soon. As that's Creed Collection, yeah, it did not happen, uh, sadly. Um, so if you wanted to uh, play the, yeah, the first one, the second one, and the third one on your new console, sadly that's not possible, but it might happen in the future because the um, yeah, I based this rumor of um, or this prediction of a rumor of an SS Creed collection like domain name being re registered but it's for final figures so that sucks so it's not for a game then we go down so this was like a bold prediction from uh, my friend Sex Sharps I will do more videos with him discuss the yeah the stuff that we discussed as well so one of his predictions was PlayStation VR, Uncharted game. Might still happen in the future, but did not happen at E3. Red Dead Redemption 2, same Rockstar stuff. Um, sadly, there were some rumors that it may be cut from the Sony press conference, but Adam Boyce from Sony that also took the stage many times said that it's not the case. A new Wolfenstein game. I thought that a new Wolfenstein game would be at the Bethesda show. Pretty obvious, I mean, Machine Games is now silent for a year now they made like the standalone expansion for Wolfenstein the Old Blood um, back uh, last year um, and yeah the new order before that so no they, they are still busy probably working on the next Wolfenstein that will be shown next year I think. Mass Effect Andromeda will be a hybrid MMO was also a bold prediction well we did not really see a lot of Mass Effect Andromeda so don't really count that of course and yeah that is it's a hybrid MMO can still happen, still pretty unlikely because yeah, bold E3 predictions, those are just things that we want to see that we think might happen, but we don't really put money on it. I did put money on Resident Evil 7. And oh, look, it's being announced. So um, Capcom already said that they were doing stuff with Resident Evil. So was a safe bet but that we would see it at E3 was yeah not pretty clear and now it is so that's pretty cool of course it's coming to PlayStation VR as well looks super scary the demos out now if you can, uh, you want to try it so uh, do it then Dragon Age the MMO yeah well EA had the worst press conference with no surprises so no Dragon Age MMO might still happen in the future because the points we make in this video are pretty uh, yeah solid I think. Um, Skate 4, sorry, <laughs> and it's funny because there are now like EA is putting a, f a, f a photo up on Instagram of Snoop, Snoop Dogg and yeah you still see uh, you still see people reacting is he playing Skate 4? He should be playing Skate 4 so the Skate 4 hype on social media um, against uh, EA is still happening but sadly we did not see the game. A Superman game uh, from the creators of Arkham Origins is probably still in the works but it was a no-show at E3 uh, I know a lot of people of you wanted it I want it as well but no sadly we did not see it we did see the Batman Arkham VR game because that was also my thing Warner has nothing right now 
they has they have nothing um, so yeah they, they they needed games they only had Lego Dimensions so they showed Batman Arkham VR and also um, Injustice 2 as their new game so not a Superman game and I also have some uh, prediction up for Shadow of Mortar 2 that's probably also in the works uh, but did not show at 83 as well and there's something interesting going on with Warner but I'm teasing a lot to my new videos and we'll be doing that again because Warner will probably be doing a press conference so you might see those games so look forward to that um, Cyberpunk yeah um, after this video uh, CD Projekt Red already said oh yeah Cyberpunk not at E3 sadly was a bold prediction from from me that it would be a Microsoft preferred game and while it was not at this year's E3 might happen next year it could still be a Microsoft preferred game because who came off the stage at the Microsoft press conference CD Projekt Red announcing their Gwent card game so they have like a link between with Microsoft and a lot of people in the reactions of this video say Jordan what the, what the heck um, the Microsoft and CD Projekt Red no way well you saw it at the E3 press conference, they have something together. So, I'm not that stupid. I had some uh, Bethesda E3 predictions, of course. Um, but like I said, I want to focus on stuff that's going on right now. So, why a new Destiny Year 2 expansion DLC will be announced? It was announced. Before the E3, but uh, after I made this video. So, it's called Rise of Iron and will launch on September 20th. Elder Scrolls 6 will be at E3 and what we want to see. Bold predictions as well um, did not happen. They did talk about it, it's far off. I recorded a video about Elder Scrolls 6 being far off that you can watch later. Crash Bandicoot. It's back! Yeah, 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 yeah. Why Crash Bandicoot 2016 for PS4 will be announced. Um, so, it's not a new game, it's an HD remaster, but I also talked about the possibility of that in this video. Of course, after this video came out, the rumors of Crash Bandicoot being in Skylanders surfaced. And then, yeah, at the E3 press conference of Sony, the best press conference maybe ever, they announced the remaster. So, very happy for that. Battlefield 5 was announced before E3, but after this video, it's called Battlefield 1. New Star Wars info, Uncharted plus Rogue One with 1313 assets at E3. So, we did see some... Star Wars games at E3, EA showed their sizzle reel or just a behind the scenes video I, I should call it that and yeah pretty interesting we did saw some Star Wars Uncharted but I was thinking here that it might be like a 1313 type of thing and we don't know that so I don't count this prediction um, no Shadow Mortar will be announced, and uh, now I already said that no, did not happen, might still happen, and I think next year. God of War 4. Yes, that did happen. God of War. It's just being called God of War, but it did happen. Saints Row 5. No, sadly not, but it's called Agents of Mayhem. It's the new game for Volition. So, I, I said, okay, Volition will announce a new game, and I think it's Saints Row 5, but the part where Foshalition would announce a new game was right, but not that it was Saints Row 5. It is in the Saints Row universe though. New Bioshock in 2016, Bioshock Collection coming to PS4 and Xbox One. This was too enthusiastic. Um, we do see a new uh, Bioshock game in the nearby future, but when, we don't know. Um, the collection is also being rumored, so they're probably holding that off. For the Bioshock announcement, so everyone gets hyped up. Um, but yeah, that that's not that, that that has not happened yet. But it probably will pretty soon. Maybe at Gamescom. Don't know. Maybe at next year's E3. So there you have it. Should, should I just count? I, I should have done that from the start. But anyway, let's do it now. Okay. Um, so I got the oh this one as well. Um, let's see. Ubisoft. A new open world first person shooter will be announced at E3. I was wrong about that, uh, but uh, they did announce Sheet, Sheet, Steep, Steep, it's called Steep, I also, I always uh, do that wrong, but anyway, not an no online first person shooter, no, 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 it's a sport game, sadly, I wanted to see this game, but if I think about it more closely, it would have been weird to 
announce this game and launch it before April because Ubisoft already said that they were going to do a new IP and launch it before April. Steep is launching in December but to have an online first person shooter, open world, launching in a very small period, it's not very Ubisoft like and yeah, would have been weird if you think about it. Anyway, I still think this online open world first person shooter is coming. Okay then, yeah, let's count. So obviously I have no things here. Um, is that script collection? No, no, no. Prey, that's one. Um, Resident Evil 2. Um, I don't count this, but yeah, you see where I come from with the Microsoft Preferred thing. Three, four, five, six, six. So let's say I made 13 videos and six were right, or I made a little bit more, but the bold predictions I don't really count them because those are bold. Those are never meant to be come true. Well, I thought I really thought that Shadow of Mordor 2 would be at E3, for example. Anyway, this was it. This was my yeah my E3 predictions. I will do them next year probably as well. Of course, um, I mean it was the bread and butter of this channel for a long time, and now I have to figure out what I will do next. Well, got a ton of interesting content coming your way, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, of course, I made a ton of predictions. I like doing predictions. Will I do them again for Gamescom? Probably, but I have to really temper the predictions for Gamescom because Gamescom is normally not as huge. They don't really announce really big stuff there. So that is interesting. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for watching these predictions. Thanks a lot for commenting on them. Um, you can follow me on social media. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and... Uh, Thanks a lot for watching again. Subscribe for the upcoming videos I talked about and I'll speak to you next time.